Have you ever felt in a bad mood no matter how optimistic you try to be? Yeah? I understand. We all get that. And it's not easy to beat that bad mood. It's something that you don't want to feel but it's there and sometimes you might be thinking, how can I change it in a jiffy? And if I say, don't be emotional about it or, or think before you respond, I believe it's not just realistic if you are in that situation. But it's really important that we know us, we know ourselves during that period, that bad mood period, because if you don't, you might be regretting something later. Either you were shouting at someone you love, or you were so arrogant in your reactions to your colleague at work, you emailed someone with full of emotions, with negative words, or you commented on a Facebook post like you were arguing with someone, or you belittled someone, or you judged someone and a lot of not so good things. Let me share with you some of the simple ways that you can do on how you can escape from that bad mood. Number one is to define and understand where it is coming from. It's like you're solving a problem that you start looking at defining what is the problem all about and eventually you dive into the root cause. There's always a reason why you are in a bad mood. Maybe you didn't like how someone provided you a feedback or someone did wrong to you or someone offended you or someone in your house was noisy when you were working from home. Or maybe you don't like your boss and so on. Whatever it is, it's time to be honest to yourself and face it. What is the problem and what is the root cause? Try starting jotting it down in a piece of paper and somewhere in there you would see what is that something that triggered you in that bad mood situation. Or maybe talk to someone you trust. If it's not okay to to do it in person, maybe you can call that person or maybe you can do a video call. And it's not enough to get into the root cause. Do something about it. What are the actions that you're going to do to address it? And how to use that learning the next time it happens to you? Number two is exercise. It's one of the simple but powerful ways that you can do to get out of a bad mood. Exercise. When you exercise, your body releases endorphins, which are the chemicals produced by the body to relieve stress and pain, which in turn make you feel good. So try to look for your favorite exercises. It can be jogging, swimming, or doing yoga, or Zumba, or any cardio exercises. Not necessarily mean that you have to do it outside you can do it at the comfort of your home. On my end, I love the exercise routines by The Body Project, and those routines work for me. When I exercise, I can feel that shift when you are tense or when you are overwhelmed or when you're in a bad mood. It makes you feel good, and it helps you think better and clearer. Number three, play music. What is that music that energizes you or music that relaxes you? What are your favorite maybe songs that resonate a lot of happy memories in your life? Everyone has that favorite track or tracks. So try playing those tracks and maybe you can even follow the lyrics and why not sing it? Um, sing in your karaoke. Maybe you have a magic sing mic or you can access it as well in YouTube. On my end, I listen to jazz music or mellow guitar music, just the instrumental. It really calms me and I find it effective. There's no harm in trying. Number four, listen to your body. This is related to number one. Maybe you're just hungry. If you notice when you're hungry, Your mood is a bit different or irritable and you think differently too. And when you eat and you're full, it kind of gives you a different type of positive energy, especially if the food is your favorite. 
Another thing is if you lack sleep. If you haven't had enough sleep, that's another situation in which you feel cranky and you're losing that focus that you need, especially if you have a lot of work to accomplish. So try to take a nap at least for a while and then make sure to manage your sleep going forward. We all need the right amount of sleep. Our body needs rest for it to function properly and efficiently. And number five, take responsibility. This is very important. You have to take action. You can choose to just sit around or you can choose to do something to beat that bad mood. It's up to you. You are responsible. You are responsible for maintaining yourself in a bad mood. You are responsible for refusing to look at the positive side of the situation. If you were hurt by someone, try to understand where he or she is coming from. We all get our days and that's a fact. As they say, every day may not be good but there's something good in every day. Now that you know that fact, try to be the bigger person in any situations. And it will draw a lot of good things for you. Here's the bottom line. The bottom line of this episode is that there are so many things that we can do to get out of the bad mood. Of that bad mood. You can try those things that I shared. You just have to decide and take action. This is Mind Grit by Dr. Ray reminding you to be happy and grateful always.